Hello there, welcome to the next episode of SmartSuit series. My name is Stoyan, I'm the lead designer at SmartSuit and today I'm going to talk to you about a side hustle of mine, an e-commerce website that is about selling all things Enduro. The more interesting part of it, which is the whole business is run only with SmartSuit. So every single process of this business, including the website development, the inventory tracking, the sales, the accounting, the marketing, the newsletters, the Facebook campaigns, Google ad campaigns, everything live inside SmartSuit. And this is what I'll be showing you today. So when you go to the website, you will see a nice looking website that is built on WooCommerce, but that's just the front door. Once you enter, everything behind it is simply SmartSuit. Everything is SmartSuit. And I'm going to take you through some of the processes that we have and how we manage them. First and probably the most important and most interesting thing is the inventory tracking. Let's go there. Now we use SmartSuit to handle every single product in our web store. Then through the API, we just get everything up into WooCommerce and that's it. We don't use any of the WordPress CMS. Everything happens right inside of SmartSuit. For example, let me show you a product. Let's have this plus tire and you can see the same tire in the shop. Now every single field, now name, delivery date, availability, description, brand, related products, that, that's all coming from SmartSuit. We have this big record with a lot of fields grouped into different sections. For example, we have some system fields that are not interesting. We have the name of the product, the brand that the product is related to. Once you go to the brand, you can see everything that goes to that brand, including the logo. If we just open, you will see all this info comes right from SmartSuit. Then we have the ability once we make a change, just let's go to the product. Once we make a change, just clicking on that button is going to take all the changes live. Of course, we also have a separate button inside WooCommerce that is going to do a bulk update once this, when this is needed. We have a yes, no field when we want to show this product in the shop or we don't. We have different description fields for Bulgarian and English. We have different images that are just being pulled out from here. For every product, we have category, child category. Right from here, you can go to any child category, see all the other products associated to this category. Uh, we have buy capability. I'm going to get back to that uh, in a minute. We have all the SEO data that is needed, like SEO keywords, meta description, and then a bunch of system fields uh, used for whatnot. For every product, we have linked product variation. Like think of that as a t-shirt and every t-shirt would have size, S, M, L, X, XL, these kind of things. So when you enter the product variation, you have another set of fields, like the quantity, how many of these products we have available. Again, this is linked right with, with uh, WooCommerce. We have all different kinds of filters, depending on the product, like that could be a boot size, a helmet size, persona, tire terrain. We have the pricing, like stock pricing without VAT, stock pricing with VAT. We have different formulas going and playing with all these. Uh, numbers we have the discounts being applied from here and yeah the greatest thing about running your inventory tracking through smart suit is when it comes to importing new products like this is uh, a big deal for every e-commerce website it's always related to some heavy applications it takes a lot of people to import let's say 1000 products like 1000 is a big number right but when you're doing all that through SmartSuit, all you need to do is to get your uh, product sheet in order, let's say Google Sheets, then use the import, put them there, play around, make them perfect. And then with one click of a button, it all goes, it all goes live. In our case, I'll give you some even more awesome examples. Let's say we have a list of products. We have the product name. We have some, you know, pictures with different sizes, 
description is not full. So what we do in these cases is that with a simple make automation, we take everything that we got. For example, we take the images, take them through remove.bg, remove the background, do some resizing, upload them to SmartSuite. We take the name, we take the description out of it. We will translate this into Bulgarian, put it there. Out of it, we will make the SEO description. We will make the metadata that is needed. And just with some automations and imports, we get what other people are going to work on for weeks. We can do that for hours because we are using SmartSuite. Let me tell, tell you through some of the other processes now. So I talked about the inventory, inventory tracking, but also when you buy something from here, it automatically goes into the sales management. It creates sales items and groups these items into invoices. It also gets the user data and puts it in the CRM. And from there, it goes into Omnichannel, which we use for the email marketing. So it's all connected right here. Uh, then something else we manage through SmartSuite are the filters. Like when you go to browse some of the products, let's say we go and we want some helmets, right? Probably I didn't pick the best, uh, the best product, but all these filters like color, size, brand, collection, it's all defined here in SmartSuite. When you go to the filters, we have the filter types. So ear, helmet size, boot size, then we have the values. And in that way, let's say I want to see uh, helmet size. I want to see all the helmets with size XL. I can do this directly through SmartSuite. Then, another thing that is really cool here is the, the bike compatibility. So, something that is very important for all of all websites of this kind is to be able to enter your bike and to get all the products that would fit your bike. So, you would do this from here, pick the brand, pick the model, pick the ear, but this is also something that we would use SmartSuit for. We have all the brands entered here, KTM, Kawasaki, Husqvarna, Better. Then we have the ears, then we have the model types, and these all combined are going to create this link record. So this is the exact model, let's say KTM EXC 300 to 209. When I open it from here, I can see all the parts that we have in, in stock that are related to this bike. And with some JavaScript API, we get the same data into the actual website. Another thing that we manage through SmartSuite is the accounting and expenses. In the beginning of every month, we take the export from our bank, import it very easily, like two minutes job into SmartSuite with some spotlights and automations. We can immediately distinguish the credits from debits. And then we also will link each of the bank entries to the actual invoice. See how cool it's getting and we know who ordered it. And from that, and in that way, we get some very rich data that we can work on on a later stage. Then we also have a different solution for all our suppliers or our partners. Let's say this store here that we are partnering with, we can immediately see all the orders that we've sent to these guys, all the money that we've received or spent with this contractor here. Everything lives inside SmartSuite. I already mentioned the CRM. We just get a list of all the people who signed up to our newsletter or ordered something from us and we automatically send these into Omnichannel and from there on, you know, we just take care of all the email marketing campaigns you will see that there are some red solutions. I mean, the color of them is red. These are the ones that our developer uses for the development of uh, the website for the test environment. So they are just clonings of the actual solutions so that you know he can test different functionalities once everything is polished. We push them live and 
yeah another thing that i can show you are the tasks and milestones obviously we use smart suite to handle all the tasks these for example are the development tasks uh, group by priorities group by milestones this is a little kanban that uses the status as a column and the priority as rows in swim lanes of course uh, we also handle from here all the marketing uh, tasks and initiatives we measure uh, keep track of the of the our goals and kpis what else yeah basically everything lives in our smart suit and now after you get an idea how many how much data we have in the smart suit you can just imagine how awesome dashboards we can build out of that we have different dashboards for everything finance like uh yeah number of orders gross uh, profit uh yeah just all kind of charts that help help us for the planning uh facebook data everything that comes in and out from the bank we have of course dashboards for the most purchased products we have uh yeah here we going you can also see the ones in red are out of stock so we know we get automate we get notified by automations when we need to order something we get separate facebook statistics on what we are spending and what we are getting out of it uh yeah and lastly something very interesting we have a lot of partners that we work with uh b2b partners so what we do there is that we simply have a dashboard that we share with them where they can go and check <coughs> sorry and they can check the price of individual products they can see the price uh you know when when they get 10 items from us 100 items from us with some formulas and stuff and yeah that's that's it like as you can see we really manage our entire business only with smart suit we don't need anything else and that's it if you also want to manage your e-commerce website only with smart suit just go to smartsuit.com apply for a free trial and our sales team our customer support team will be very happy to help you out thank you